thank you for that. Uh, uh, I'll explain. Uh, when I was a, a, a little boy, a boy chan, uh, I, my father was in the State Department, worked for the government, and we came to live in Japan. And uh, I lived in Azabu. Five years in Azabu and then Meguro. Uh, I was like eight, eight nine years old uh, when we first got here. And um, I used to play with all the kids in the neighborhood in Azabu. It was kind of a, a, a little village then. It wasn't so built up now. Uh, and we would play baseball in the streets, you know, with the kids. And uh, every once in a while, this guy would come on a bicycle with a big box on the back, like this, and he was the Kamishibai guy. <laughs> and he would tell the stories, and we would all sit on the ground and watch the stories, and then he would sell a candy on a stick, like for one yen, I think it was. Back then. <laughs> and uh, I, some, a, a lovely lady gave me a, a present today of that kind of candy, one little stick. And you go like this with it, you know. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, so, I had a favorite story when I was little that I used to hear on the radio uh, about, it was Fred Waring hour, once a week, and there was a guy named Uncle Lumpy who told what he called Little Orly stories. So now we are going to tell you the story of Little Orly and the Cricket. Little <laughs> <laughs> Orly and the harmonica, the missing harmonica. Okay, here we go. So this is the story of Little Orly and the Cricket. Well, now, once upon a time, there was a little boy named Orly, and he wanted to get himself a cricket. So he looked over by the big red barn, and out in the green big no, no, not yet. <laughs> and out in the big green field, and pretty soon he found himself a little old black cricket. <laughs> and um, well, he happened to pass past the blacksmith's shop, and the old smith heard the cricket chirping, and he said, "I sure would be proud to have that cricket, Orly." So Orly gave him the cricket. And then he stepped back and he said, I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I give it to you, but you give me nothing at all. Well, <laughs> the, the old, uh, so the smith felt kind of bad, so he pulled a big hoe off of the wall and handed it to Orly, and he went off down the road towards home. <laughs> little while and uh, pretty soon he came to an old man who was down beside the road trying to dig a well with his bare hands and when he saw the hole he said I sure wish I had that hole my old fingers is just about worn out so Orly gave him the hole then he stepped back and he said I went all day for to get myself a cricket I got myself a cricket and I gave him to the smith he gave me a hoe and <laughs> I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I give it to the smith. He give me a hoe and I give it to you, but you give me nothing at all. Just about that time, the old man hit water and he filled a bucket full of water, handed it to Orly, and Orly took the bucket and went off down the road towards home again. big old tree by the roadside that was a creaking and a groaning in the wind. And when the tree saw the water, he said, I sure wish I had some of that water to oil my old aching, creaking joints. So Orly poured the water on the tree, and then he stepped back and he said, I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I give it to the smith. He give me a hoe and I give it to the old man. He give me water and I give it to you, but you give me nothing at all. 
Well, the old tree felt kind of bad, so he reached up and he pulled a great big old green katydid off of his branch and handed it down to Orly. And Orly took the katydid and started off down the road towards home again. Well, he went along a little ways and he came to a great big old bully frog in the middle of the road next to a puddle. And the bully frog looked at Orly and he said, Mighty fine Katie did you got there, Orly. Mind if I have a look? So Orly showed him the Katie did and zip zap the old frog grabbed the Katie did and whoop, swallowed him. Well, Orly was good and mad by this time. So he stood back and he said, I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I give it to the smith. He give me a hoe and I give it to the old man. He give me water and I give it to the tree. You add them up and you give me nothing at all. Did I leave something out? No. So the frog looked at Orly and he said, uh-huh. And what's more? <laughs> The frog had a little high. I'm going to do it one more time. The back of the line. Yeah, the frog had a real. I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I gave it to the smith. He gave me a hoe. Give it to the bell man. He gave me water. He gave it to the tree. Give me a candy head and you add him up and you give me nothing at all. Keep me one, I need more food and I. So the old frog looked at Orly and he said, uh huh. And what's more, I ain't going to give you nothing. And he dived, cur slop, into the puddle. Well, sir, it just goes to show you that if you, you, can't, that <laughs> you can't expect to get every time you give. And if and you do, why, well, sooner or later, you're going to lose your Katie did. Orly did. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, 